Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay, guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exia Swilly, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Okay, guys, so let's get into your spread. It's a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. The first card out is the star. Second card, King of Cups in the upright. Will of Fortune. Oop. Chariot in the upright. Last card rounding out the spread is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. At the top of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. And we have the High Priestess at the bottom. Uh, you have a couple cards that I saw in a Cancer reading. So you may have Cancer in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. Uh, so you might want to check that video out. But because there's some drastic changes happening with Cancer. But for you all, uh, Sag and Sag placements, we have... This is really spiritual. Okay, you have the Star Seed energy of the High Priestess and the Star. OK, that possibly you come from a different star system or w the, the fact that you incarnated into this reality, you came to help. But there is a need for meditation when you have the four of swords and the high priestess. There's something about meditation, prayer here, uh, balancing out the emotions. You could be a little reclusive at this time, but your energy is a is one of evolution. So you have the Wheel of Fortune next to the Chariot. Things are moving. Things really are moving, even though your cards over here feel like there's a stillness or there's silence, but there's actually movement happening at the same time. And I'm, and I'm trying to tell you guys, like um, I said this to you in your last reading about, you know, being hidden, um, things actually working out the way they're supposed to. So the Wheel of Fortune Chariot gives me that energy of, yes, there is stillness in the Four of Swords and High Priestess, but Will of Fortune and Chariot says that things are actually moving. The Chariot can be a protective vehicle, okay? It is uh, moving, but moving in protection. This is uh, like, you know, the cavalry coming in to rescue you and put you, you know, in the back of the Chariot, you, you ride off. You're being still in the back, but the Chariot is still moving, right? The horses are still running. So there is this... Um, Knight of Wands in reverse energy here. This could be about like having irreconcilable differences with a person, like just not being able to make something work. This could be a person, this could be a job, um, anything where something is just not, I don't know, it doesn't even have to be that serious. It could just be that um, I recognize where I'm going and I have to drop a particular thing. Maybe a thing that I kind of rushed in too fast with. Uh, doesn't have to be a relationship. The High Priestess and the Star could talk about star-crossed lovers or unrequited love, just something that couldn't come about. We couldn't make it happen. Uh, sometimes when you're dealing with unrequited love, which sucks, is that you are possibly putting in more effort and the effort you put in isn't being reciprocated. So there is something where there's a lack of reciprocation and you are moving out of that kind of energy of no one reciprocating the energy you bring. You really are evolving fast, faster than you think. And I know you may not think things are moving as quickly because of the High Priestess Four of Swords energy. This is stillness. Your top and the bottom of the, of the deck represent a very still energy. The star is telling me destiny. Things are happening on time for you. They're happening on time. Whatever you're doing, you're on the right road, headed in the right direction. Um, this King of Cups energy, hmm. A visionary, an artist, but more so um, having sight. This is really spiritual. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but can indicate a tarot reader. Like I said, you have a spiritual gift. There's divination here. Um, I don't, is the word psychism for, for being a psychic? 
I think so, but there's definitely psychic energy here. You guys are really... This is strong. There's definitely a strong evolution. I always call the King of Cups a shaman. Um, things are moving very, very well. There'll be success. There will be success. But right now, there seems to be rest. But there's a the rest is actually either helping you move better or whether you know it or not, things are actually moving around you even though there's a stillness. Hmm. There's not too much you have to do other than what is necessary. That's it. That's it. You don't have to worry about anything. You are evolving perfectly. You're germinating and growing something. And it's and I think it's growing inside of you faster than you think. And then it's going to be like, ping. That's what I get when I look at the Wheel of Fortune. You know, like the timer just goes off kind of thing. Hmm. Let me see what else you got. Yeah. You will have success. Ten of Pentacles is here, but you may have people trying to come for it. Five of Swords next to Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Uh, yeah, it's just not time for relationships. It For some of you, okay? Um, you know, but really it's just not. Ten of Swords next to the Ace of Swords next to the Devil. So anybody like offering anything possibly is coming in Devil energy, possibly stab you in the back. So that's why the charity is here is to keep you moving forward, to protect you as you move. You get in these feelings of being calm, being still, not really feel, feeling like, you know, doing too much. You know, this is not hermit energy. It's just more so insightful, intuitive, psychic. Like, I know I need to just chill. Not like I'm stuck chilling. Some of you may feel stuck chilling, but that's okay. Mm. Listen to the things that come to you at this time. Listen and follow. Do what you feel led to do strongly. Your evolution is, is beautiful. It's really good. And, you know, let go of anything that's just not working. Uh, the Knight of Wands really just feels like anything that's not working, whether it be a relationship, a thing you're doing, something you thought you should be doing, it's just not working out, or it's not giving back what you thought it would like if you put time and effort into something and it's not giving it back you can just drop it just drop it drop it if it's not doing what it's supposed to do so that's what i have for you uh sag uh check out cancer that reading may resonate with you uh may or may not but um this looks good i mean it's always good to have the will of fortune but i swear like with this will of fortune star your timing is perfect right now don't <laughs> just just don't mess it up. I don't even, and this is another reason why we have this energy here. It's because the more you're relaxed, the, the faster and easier things move. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. All right, see you later.